Hi there, I'm Dave Williams with Structure Real Estate Group in Colorado Springs. Welcome to my video series titled Give Business to Local Business. Hi there, Dave Williams with Structure Real Estate here to talk with Clay about his local business. Clay, uh, tell me about your business. What do you what do you do? What's it called? Okay. So Ascent Cycling is a bike shop here in Colorado Springs. We've been around since 2006. Um, and um, we grew out of the, the need to, to do the bike shop differently. What kind of services and products do you offer? So we're a full, what would be considered a full service bike shop. So we do repairs, sales, so, um, parts and accessories, all of that. Um, if we had to choose a niche, we are more mountain bike focused than anything, but we we serve the whole the whole genre of, of cycling. How do you go about advertising your business? All of our advertising now is done on social media: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, there are our three main. Um, this year, we will dive into Snapchat. That's where we do all of our advertising. It's solely in the in the social world. What's unique about your business versus another? local bike shop that we really focus in on is is making it be the customer experience when they shop on a web page they control it entirely so that's their experience and that's kind of what we want them to come in here and do we really have trained our staff on a, on a breakdown of asking specific questions that lead the consumer down their experience versus us dictating what that customer's experience becomes. So what is your background, like your education, your work experience? I've been in the bike industry for 30 plus years. I started as a freshman in high school working at a bike shop and uh, just building bikes, worked into becoming a mechanic and those types of things. Uh, worked full time through college at a bike shop. So how does your business, Ascent Cycling, how does that help within the community? How do you give back? We sponsor some things um, through like WIMBA, which is the Women's Mountain Bike Association here in town. We sponsor and help them. Um, we do a lot of fun things with helping like Boy Scouts and stuff with their bicycle rodeos so they can get their bicycle badge and we do okay. those types of things. How would you describe your customers? If you had to describe like... Oh, our, our customers, our main demographic is families. Like we really go after the outdoor family, the family who wants to spend time outside, keeping their kids active, it goes back to the focus of mountain bikes. I mean, okay. we have a huge mountain bike following and that's just because we, for the longest time, we were we were mountain bikes only. Uh, started with road bikes, then we dropped them completely, just focused in on mountain bikes and then here in the last two years have added road bikes and gravel bikes and all of that back into the inventory. Do you do any type of bike classes or anything? We do maintenance classes, one-on-one, -on -one, schedule it in, come in, we'll teach you how to do anything from change a flat to properly lube your bike, those types of things. Okay. Mountain bike, road bike, doesn't all matter? Right. What kind? Doesn't matter. So what do you think are the biggest issues for you like today in, in running your business? We always strive to, to have things done the ascent way, the way that Patrick and I have developed. And so okay. that's always tough when you get other bike mechanics from either other shops, other cities, and, and getting them back into to being a part of our way and, okay. and, and the way we need it done to, to uphold our values and, and those things that we place on our business. Right now we've got two high school kids on staff. Okay. Um, just because I started as a high school kid, so that's always the heartstring pull there. Typically their freshman year of high school, we'll bring them on as an intern. And then by their sophomore, junior, and senior years of high school, they have a good skill set. And all of, all of the mechanics that we've put through that kind of a program right now that are in college have jobs at other bike shops in the college towns they're in. Cause okay. that's one of the common things that all college towns have is, is a bike shop. Bike so shop. I worked full time at a bike shop and went to school full time. And Are you flexible with high school students and their their various schedules? Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we have uh, kids involved in, in band programs and sports and all sorts of things. And so it's, it's always interesting to, to work around that. Usually scheduled in is just like either a pressure relief valve or something like that in the system to where they're here. But if they suddenly had something come up, we're super flexible with those and, and understanding that 
a high school kid makes a mistake, they forgot to tell us about something and sure. you know, those types of things. But also giving them some, you know, life skills and life lessons in there. You know, like, great, you still have to find coverage or, <laughs> or those types of things. Figure it out. This is Figure how the out. world works. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So where do you see your business in five years? Oh, business in five years is we're definitely growing um, in the in the cycling and the bike shop industry for brick and mortar stores to be growing right now is unheard of. Mm -hmm. um, but we are doing things right. And so we're continuing to grow. Uh, we've got some exciting plans coming in the next year. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you could um, give one piece of advice to anybody listening, what do you think that would be? So I've really kind of become a fan of, of Simon Sinek. I think that's how you say his name. Um, and he, he's wrote a couple of really good books, but the book I just got done reading a little while back was Leaders Eat Last. He embedded himself in with uh, a Marine platoon for a while and, and just kind of spent days with them. And, and what he realized through that is, is in the Marines, the lowest rank eats first and leadership eats last. Leaders aren't born. They're just they're, you hear that all the time. Leaders are born, and, and I don't I don't believe in that. I think leaders are, are are taught. Leaders are mentored, and those types of things. And so I think when when I look around and I see that kind of concept of you know leaders eat last is just make sure that you're you're taking care of the people around you. So I've been sitting here with Clay Allison with uh, Ascent Cycling. I will give uh, I'll leave the address in the uh in the section in the description as well as links to facebook and twitter and instagram mm -hmm. is what you use uh, yep. thank you very much for yeah. talking with me today absolutely and don't forget to give your business to local business yep if there is a local business in colorado springs that you would like to see featured put it in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching and remember give your business to local business mm -hmm.